Hey everyone, Mystic here, and oh boy, do I have some news for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about some leaks and announcements around a new auction item coming out tomorrow. The first half of the video will be some confirmed stuff, including footage of the item, and the second half will feature some unconfirmed leaks I've heard from people and some theory crafting on what could happen with the new item. Also, at the end, I'll probably throw in my opinion on the item. Please, before we get into this, go smash that like button, it helps me out more than you think. Anyways, let's see what this new item is all about. The new item is called the Legendary Blazing Katana. It seems that this has already been auctioned once, assumably so that Jeff's player account could have the item. Through this auction screen, we can see the name of the item and that is in fact 9 damage. Sadly, no other information on the item is available through here as it cuts off. I was also able to get footage of the creator, or at least whom I believe created it, Jeff, holding the katana. However, he was AFK and I couldn't ask him to attack or use any special effects on the item. Either way, this item looks absolutely stellar. As for when this item is releasing, well that's actually going to be in the next auction. As of recording this video, it's set to release at around 1.30pm Pacific Standard Time. Also in this screenshot, we can see the item frame display for the katana, again, it looks really cool. Sadly, that's about it for the confirmed stuff about this item, so now we can get into the fun stuff. After this item was announced, I took to the streets and started looking for people who knew anything about the item. I got a few leaks that are not confirmed as true, anything I do say in this section should be taken with a grain of salt as none of it is necessarily going to happen. The first bit of information is from someone who says they saw the special attacks and animations of the item. The report said that the item had a movement based attack with flames. I'm not sure exactly what this means, but to me it seems similar to the Void's dash attack shown here. They also said that the Blazing Katana could be worn on your back, which assumably will be the second special slot and it most likely won't have any other specials. The person I got the info from said that the item was just super awesome in general, so I'm really excited to see it for myself tomorrow. The second and final piece of information I got from unconfirmed sources was how the auctions on Sunday will work. I've had two confirm that Jeff said the item will be released up to 10 to 15 times. Whether he meant that this was going to be released all at Sunday's auctions or spread out through two or three similar to how his last item, Void, was distributed, we won't know exactly. We can, however, assume that once the auction's 10 or 15 and stops auctioning them, that they won't ever be returning to auctions, as that is the exact same thing he did with Void Knife. Anyways, that's all I have for leaks, but I'd like to do some slight theories and opinions about this Blazing Katana. I personally think that all this leaked info is true, and it will be released similarly or at least close to the way Void was. This being said, I feel like we can expect 10 of them to be auctioned over two different times. I think the biggest thing people want to know is how much will it sell for in auctions and how much will it be worth in tables. Let's start with the auctions first. With all the auctions I've watched, usually these items like to soar up to 350,000 growlets. However, for at least the first few here, there will be a ton of people bidding as it was announced beforehand and everybody wants it. I think that we could be seeing up to 500,000 growlet price tags on most of these katanas as they will be all hosted in the same room and none will ever go on at the same time, splitting up the buyers. It's pretty obvious that this is the way that Jeff wanted to do it as he generally likes to make his super releases really big and grand. So I guess that's what we're going to be seeing. As for tables, it becomes a lot more complicated. If this item is auctioned the same way as Void, 5 in the first auction and 5 in the second, I think it'll go in stages. These prices are also dependent on if it's as cool of an item as I think it will be. Once the first 5 are auctioned, I think it'll be around 100 to 200k mark. After the next 5 are auctioned, I think it will drop to about 125 to 150k, but then it'll rise about 50 to 75k per month until it is about 400 to 500k. Now, obviously, if the item is not as cool, it'll be less, and if it's insanely cool and beats all of our expectations, it'll be more. Also, if it's auctioned 15 times, it can end up only sitting around the 300k mark, however, only time will tell. Anyways, that's everything I got for this video. This was much different content than I usually do, however, I felt it was really important to get this out before auction so you guys were completely informed. Please like if you guys enjoyed this type of video, and please subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet, as I always keep on top of important growl news. As well, please comment down below your thoughts on the new item and if you're going to be participating in the auctions for it. I think it's pretty cool, I think it's worth it, so I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.